Hello and welcome, it's Ashley here with this week's Stamp Create Repeat video for your next stamp. I have a really fun little tag making video today. It is so cute and summery. This just makes me so happy for the summer to arrive. So I made these little tags. You can put a message on the back and I love the sentiment here. It says tropic like it's hot and then I just have some gumdrops on there and this adorable little pineapple with glasses. Here is the other one and I did this one with some blue color tones and then the pink little glasses. So I'll start out by sharing with you what I use to make them and then I'll get into the process video. I'll link everything in the description box below so you can find it over in the Your Next Stamp store. So first up I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink, also the wire trimmers for cutting apart the dies. I use some gumdrops. These are the matte gumdrops. These ones are the Pretty Peacock matte gumdrops. I use the blue and also the pink colors. And then for the stamp set, I use this Punny Pineapple set. It is so cute. So you get a little drink pineapple and you also get a large pineapple there. And then there's little faces and then you get some glasses here to put on the pineapple if you want. And then the sentiments on this are so cute. I love the tropic like it's hot and the party like a pineapple is so precious. And then there is coordinating dies you can purchase separate and there is coordinating dies to trim apart the glasses that you stamp out. So if you want to stamp them out, you can trim them with the coordinating dies or like I did, it also includes little glasses dies so it cuts it out with cardstock paper for you. So that's how I made my little glasses there on the pineapples. And then I used this die here. This one is called the Cool Tags 4 die set and I love this one so much. So I cut out two of the largest size and I just layered them so that you could have the little pink and blue popping out behind it. So let's get started and we'll make our tags. So I'm taking the largest size of the tag and I'm cutting it out on some blue paper here. And then I'm going to cut one out on this hot pink paper. I thought I would use my neon color papers for fun to make it really nice and tropical. And then I'm cutting them out on white cardstock as well in the same size. So I'm going to cut out two of them. Now I'm going to stamp out my images. I'm stamping out this adorable little pineapple drink. And it was so fun to color. You can get really creative with coloring that cute little umbrella in some bright colors and the little straw. And then I'm going to put that little face on there. There's two different faces you can choose from. I chose this one with a little smiley face. And then I'm going to trim these out using the coordinating dies. And I'm just using my wire trimmers to trim apart the other pieces from it. And I just took a piece of washi to hold it down in place and then I just ran it through my die cutting machine. And it is so cute, the little reveal. It cuts in the middle there between the umbrella and the straw. And then I'm going to trim out the other one. So cute, and now I'm gonna do the glasses. So I'm taking the um, little glasses dies that come with it. So you get the coordinating ones for cutting apart the stamps with this set, and then you also get the little sunglass ones, and they are just so cute. So I did a little hot pink one and a blue one to match that card stock. For the coloring, I'm gonna use my Copic markers. So I'm just doing this umbrella here in pink using RV06, RZ, RV04, and RV02. I thought it'd be fun to have a nice hot pink umbrella there and I'm just really getting in there with all the blending. And then I'm gonna do the straw on the opposite one in the same color combo, so RV06, four, and two. And I did the top of the umbrella as well in that pink. And then I'm going to use this blue color combo. This is B49 and I'm doing the straw here and then I go in with BG13 and BG10. And then that same color combo over on the umbrella, BG49, BG13 and BG10 for this little blue umbrella. So cute. Now I can do the color of the pineapples. So you could do it like a brownie color or a yellow. I really want it to be bright and summery. So I went with a yellow color combo and I just went on all the little diagonal lines here using Y38. And then I go in with Y35 and just give that a nice blend. And the paper that I'm using is the Michaels 120 pound cardstock. And then I go in with Y32 for a nice blend. And then I'm also gonna do the middle of the pineapple in that same color tone, Y38, 35, and 32. And then for that middle part, where it would be the inside of the pineapple, I'm using some bright yellows. So I use Y13, Y11, and then I go in with Y15. And it looks so precious. So then I'm gonna do the same color combo, Y15 and Y11 for this little pineapple. And then I'm using the Y38 
for these little diagonal lines and then I go in with Y35 and then I go in with Y32 and give that a really nice blend. These are such cute little images. This pineapple just is everything for the summer. I love it so much. Now I'm just gonna take my black jelly pen and go over the black eyes and the little mouth just to make it really pop. And then I'm gonna take my white jelly pen and I'm gonna do some cute little polka dots on the umbrella. I thought that would be cute because there's polka dots on the ribbon that I'm gonna use. So I went in and just did some polka dots. I added white on top of the eyes. And then I also just added a few little accents on the little pineapple drink. And there are little images. So I have everything here and I'm just gonna take my glue stick to adhere on those little glasses. And so I'm putting the blue one with the pink umbrella and the pink one with the blue umbrella just to make them really colorful. Now I'm going to put them with some adhesive onto the tags, but I wanted to add on the sentiment first. And so I wanted to put the tropic like it's hot. So I'm just kind of moving it around to see kind of how it will fit there. And it is a perfect fit, it's going to fit just perfectly so I'm using the black olive ink and I'm just putting the tropic part at the top for both of the tags and then at the bottom part I'm going to use the like it's hot and it will fit perfectly it's going to cover up the little exclamation mark on the it's but that's okay and then I'm adding that at the bottom and then I'm going to do the other one here Then I'm just going to take my adhesive and adhere on these little pineapples. So cute and they really just pop on that white paper. I love it. So here is this one and then I'm gonna add on the other one. And then I thought it would be cute because I cut out two of each of the tags in the same size. I'm just going to diagonally move them so that I can have that bright pink and bright blue popping out from behind it. So I just put some adhesive and kind of did it diagonally. And then I'm gonna take some ribbon. I've got a little bit of this pink ribbon left and I have this blue polka dot ribbon. So I'm just going to measure them out to be the same size. And then I just tucked it through. I folded it in half, tucked it through and slipped it through the little hole. And I think that looks so, so cute. So I did that with both the blue and the pink. And now I'm gonna add on some gumdrops. So a lot of you have asked how I store my gumdrops and it's actually just a little ring, like a binder ring. And then I just use that to put all of my Your Next Stamp gumdrop packages in. I just keep them right in the package that they come in. And I love that because you can kind of flip through your colors and really find what's perfect for your project. And you have all of your little gumdrops there. So I took the large and medium of the pink and I'm gonna add them on this pink one. And then I took the large and medium of the blue and did that on there. So that was my cute little summer tags. I hope you enjoyed this project. Again, I will have everything linked below for you in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in next week's video. Bye now.